Rajola, Melkutra Lavellia? Can you Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Gonna build a mountain. I hope I will. Gonna build a mountain. Gonna build it high. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I only know I'm gonna try. Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hello, lovely people. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, Toadie. Hi, Boba Duck. Hello, Jewel. Hello, Mart. Hello, Agnes. Hello, the Blue Turtle. Hello, Eric, Johansson, Camille, Karen, Matt, Boxall. Hi, Tylindra. How are you doing? Jurassic Productions, peace. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, Michael T. Music, Book Avenue, Gamer234, Mushy, The Mushroom Guy, One Happy Pepper. Oh my goodness, so many names. <laughs> Hi, Bram. <laughs> Turtle Studios, Tracy. Hello, lovely. Hi, Dew of the Sea, Xavier. Dexter Morgan. I love your name because it always reminds me of Dexter. <laughs> I just love it. Apostardia, hello. Marge, Joshua, Alejandro, Luen, hello guys, how are you? <laughs> you didn't miss anything, Joshua. I just went live for one minute. <laughs> We're going to try and um, make a start. Uh, is this the stream where you build a mountain from a little hill? Yeah, yeah, probably, Danielle. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing really well. Um, 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 yeah, so I have an idea and it's gonna be really challenging because I have no idea if it's going to work out But I wanna, um, blah I want, oh, thank you, Matt Thank you so much, Matt Voxel Oh, wait, you're Silver Fox Oh, thanks <laughs> Thank you so much Just subscribe last night Ah, bear <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt Oh, that's amazing. Uh, that a, a dome and exhibit looks awesome. Thank you so much, Lather Mag. 
Um, the lady forgot to mention last stream, I just downloaded Flowscape because I enjoyed those videos so much. It's amazing, right, Joshua? I love the game. Okay, so this is temporarily, guys. This is just something you don't want to look at. <laughs> um, so yeah, what I want to do is I want to uh, create, a, as mentioned in the title, I want to create a Garial Habitat. And now the challenge is going to be... Uh, first of all, like how big does the water have to be? So I think that's the first thing we want to check. Um, Gariel. Uh, so, okay. So it only needs 70 cubic meters uh, of land, if I see that right, and 300 cubic meters of water. So mostly the habitat will be filled with water. Um, so we can do it the easy way and say like, okay, the land area will be here and the water area will be there. But obviously we want to do the more challenging part, right? Um, is that going to be just for uh, monkeys and reptiles? I, uh, I just want to uh, try as much as possible. So we have the mandrels right over here. I want to add the lions. We have some really cute lions in here. Um, we have some really cute lions in here. Uh, but these are like for the challenge of the, um, uh, there is a lion challenge. I can't remember correctly what it was, but there's like as many lions as possible to release into the wild. So I was like, okay, great. Put down some lions and we're good. And over here we have some grizzly bears, which we do need to make sure that one of these uh, gets out of here because one is injured. Um, so they're going to fight if you have two males in here if i remember correctly so we're just gonna make sure that they will be traded really quick uh okay trade there you go bye okay <laughs> sorry this is seriously <laughs> this is just super bad this is like my cash flow area because <laughs> we just want to build something beautiful right over here right are you gonna upload the dome? I'm not going to upload the dome. Firstly, because it's not finished. Secondly, because the workshop will be um, will be gone after the 8th of October. So I don't really see any point to upload it right now. I uh, earlier see a point to just make a new one or a better version of it when the game will launch. And thank you Lucky Duck for following. <laughs> A uh, hi, wonderful person. Question: What happens after the beta? Is it full release? At fifth, at the fifth of November will be the full release. So I think like three weeks or something. We are not be going to be able to play, but I will try to do my best to record as many things as possible to also fill uh, the gap up with a lot of Planet Zoo. So yeah, hopefully that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you, Light Yoshi. Thank you so much for your subscription. I hope if it's getting too annoying because I don't know what's going on, but today you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Herman De Jong. Um, so, no, three weeks after the 8th of October. That's what I mean, Joshua, but <laughs> I get you. Five weeks from now. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have to fill those three, uh, three weeks uh, after the 8th of October. Um, uh, thank you, Green Ghost. Thank you so much for your subscription. So, any, um, I'm going to record this anyway. So, uh, I'm not sure if the live stream will stay up because I'm also gonna put the build in in a speed build. Uh, thank you, Crocs, for your follow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to record it, and uh, we're not going to stream too long on YouTube. We will move over to Twitch after the stream on YouTube. Uh, because I feel streaming on Twitch is a bit more laid back and a bit more relaxing. So uh, yeah, we're just going to do that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, don't worry, this speed build will also be up uh, if you're missing out on anything. Thank you, Gamer234. <laughs> this game is just too damn addicting. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we're gonna try and test this because it's gonna be challenging. Um, it's gonna be really challenging. Thank you, Turtle Studios, for your follow. Um, okay, what size is this? It's going to be eight. Now, my question will be, is this big enough? 
to make a water area because that is what we want we want a water area but we also want to have a door going outside so we have to lower it and <laughs> mighty magic fox gaming thank you so much um okay uh, do we want more space on this? Thank you, Jonas Teats, for your subscription. Thank you so much. Do you use OBS to stream? Yes, I do indeed, Papa Doug. Um, this game is just, uh, oh, pff, my chat. My single released eight days ago. That's amazing, Michael. My, by underwater viewing area, do you mean an area directly under the water where you actually see the Gariel's belly. That will be amazing if that is possible. Well, you will have a view. Oh God. The <laughs> is the sound annoying of that Zebra all the time, guys? Please do tell me. I can turn it off because I can't imagine it's <laughs> crazy. I love it. I love it. Please keep subscribing. Of course. I'm really thankful for that. But oh my goodness. Um, when I was preparing this stream, it just went on and on and on. And I was like, oh no, what's going on? This is crazy. Thank you, Carskins. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's just, let's try and see if this is doable. I want to see especially how big the water area will be if we will make it here. So it's going to be very exciting. But we can also maybe split these paths into two. Um, that could maybe work too. But we might want to make it a little bit bigger. Um, okay, let's see how big we can make the water area, how big the size is just for now. Um, okay, 15, um, I'm just gonna, gonna do this just to measure the size guys. So we're gonna, we're gonna redo the, the fencing. It's just temporarily. So if we're gonna make it like a longer one, so we have like the water area all inside maybe, and then like a small area on the outside or however, how big we wanna make it. If it looks good, then it's good. Um, okay, let's see, how big is the size? Oh wait, we have to add it a door inside like so. Okay, this is 636 cubic meters and it was 300 and 370 if I remember correctly. So 370 in total and 300. Okay, so this is definitely uh, probably a bit too big, big even then. Um, so I'm gonna move, remove one, two. So probably this will be like the indication of the size we wanna make it and I'm going to delete the barriers now no <laughs> okay edit and delete okay challenge number two adding water um I'm gonna put something down. Oh my god, I just screenshotted the hippo poo sweeping. Seriously, that's crazy. <laughs> and thank you, by the way, Jinnita, for being here. Thank you so much. Um, okay, that is just to know to how far we should go approximately. Um, now what happens if I press the tunneling button right over here? Okay, that would work. Uh, but the only downside is... We 
would it would this work? That's the question. I want it to be like in a nice smooth angle. Um uh, Okay, wait, I have a different idea. I'm going to make it full and then you are going down by one ah okay that's not working right now okay we're gonna terrain nope thank you lily thank you so much for your subscription <laughs> You are playing good. Thank you, Francisca. How are you doing? Hello, Joris. How are you? Russia Pro, welcome to the stream. You are the best YouTuber in the world. <laughs> My name is Caleb and I am from the Netherlands. Hi, and you inspired me. I'm gonna buy the game. Aw, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's see. Thank you, Honor, Honor Paradise. So we're gonna have a floating path. I think that's going to be the easiest way. We're gonna make the water a little bit steeper. Thank you, Samuel Murray. Thank you so much for your subscription. I don't even know if people are here in the chat when they are subscribing. <laughs> uh, but I'm thankful anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see if we can do this right now. So we need to make sure that that path is coming back here again before we start. Um, thank you, Chris Santiago, for your subscription. I think I'm gonna turn it off because I'm just not sure if I'm <laughs> if this is going to be doable for the rest of the for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Wait, why are you obstructed? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Mm. Well, hopefully I can uh, redo everything, but I'm not sure if that's possible. It's pretty... It's a lot, what I did. At least a terraform takes a lot of steps. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> did you see my Gary O habitat on the Facebook? I'm not in any Facebook group. I'm, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> please, 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 can I get the pass back? Yes, perfect, okay. I think that's just a bit glitchy, so I just wanna be safe. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. As much as I love all the all the subscriptions, it's it's <laughs> it's gonna be really annoying. Um, so I'm gonna do uh, cancel. Wait. Um. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, let me change that real quick, guys. Copy and paste. Now it should be good. <laughs> uh, okay, get back my chat. Uh, we are not bots. <laughs> we are here. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, no, but I really, I really want to focus a little bit more on the on the on the building to it. If I have to say thank you, like every minute, it's gonna just lose us so much time. Um, we want to do this good. We want to do this good. So, um, I'm gonna go in a corner. I'm gonna go further away. It's not gonna be aligned to this, but it is what it is. Um, gonna be fine. Uh, it 
it's a pity that the tunneling does not work right now. Um, I'm gonna use this maybe, that will help. Can you guys hear their music, by the way? The music of the game is so good. I love the music of the game. Uh, you're going to be fine. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> I really want to buy the game, but I know my computer won't handle it. Ah, I have actually didn't really, I actually didn't really look into um, what you would need. But for me, it runs pretty smooth, but I was hoping it would because this is a pretty new computer. Like two years old, so yeah. It would be really bad if my computer would not handle it if it's so young. Mm. Okay, hopefully this will work. Perfect, okay. And now... Okay, now the tunneling does work. Okay. Now I'm curious how this is going to look because it, I feel this is going too far in still. So we might want to move it just a little bit more. Wait, wait, can I go down? No, okay, no, that doesn't work. Okay, so go straight, go down. Oh, we can have a corner, wait. Um, we're gonna have a curved slope. So we can at least go a little bit in that angle I want it to be. Um, I think that's, that could work. And um, curved slope off. And now we can go for a nice, round shape so this will be the path of the viewing platform uh, viewing gallery well here will be the glass of course and we're gonna raise the terrain just a little bit right over here so it's gonna be hopefully high enough yeah I think so because you want to have the people to be able to look underneath the water but also above the water, right? So also here we, you will have a pathway going right over here. Uh, so yeah, I hope that will look good and we can like purify the middle section with some nice flowers and some bushes and that kind of things. So we're gonna make it look nice and pretty. That's the plan. <laughs> um, are you a little bit aligned? With the outside, I can't see it. It's hard to tell. Uh, can we please put you off, turn you off? Okay, we might want to go a little bit further away. Has to be perfect, you guys. It has to be perfect. Something like so, and then we will go up again with a curved slope. Yeah. Like so. Uh, the lady singer. Who is the lady singer? I don't know her. <laughs> but thank you, Rutger. 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 <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I want you to go in a curve, please, and thank you. Now you work, okay. Fine, then you're then you're good. Okay, we can make it a little bit longer. I'm gonna delete you now. And we're gonna have a path going right next to it. Mm. We wanna make that curve. Um, 
Hello, Zikin. How are you? <laughs> my Gotti, how are you? I'm very good. Uh, starting to feel it a little bit in my energy. Uh, I have been so hyped all week. I have been so excited. I have not been sleeping super well, but my adrenaline is like uh, <laughs> really helping me a lot. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, I'm really good. I'm really happy that there are so many people that are just really excited uh, for the, the stuff I've uploaded on my channel. My Twitch streams are doing really well. Uh, so I'm really happy and thankful for that. And uh, all the, the positive vibes are just really good. I really absolutely enjoy the game. It's... Uh, <laughs> It's so amazing. <laughs> I really can't stop talking about it. It's it's absolutely oh, my favorite. I really feel sad that we will have to miss it for a few weeks. I, it's really bad. I really, really don't want to, but it's going to happen no matter what. Oh, shoot. I forgot to turn it off. Curved slopes. Can we have you with a flat terrain? Oh, yeah, that should work. Okay, not too far. Does this work? Perfect. Uh, so yeah, but thank you. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Anya Fort, hey there, the lady designer. How's it going? I'm doing great. Can you show your park? I will do at the end, but uh, I also uh, uploaded two videos of what is in the park, so. Uh, it's you can already find it on my channel uh, and right now I, I don't want to like talk too much even though I love to talk with you guys but I know that a lot of people are also here just to see what I'm gonna do and if I talk too much then I um, might be disappointing people and I don't want that and I also just am really excited to start working with this so uh and afterwards as i said we're going to stream for around an hour maybe one hour and a half right over here and then we move over to torch which i'm not really allowed to say but hey <laughs> it is what it is uh we're going to connect you perfect okay something like this and then we're going to do some more terrain We have to be careful and, and to, to see like where are we going to put down water, where are we going to have a land area. Um, so he's probably going to eat outside and since we have a path right over here and we are not able to make like a complete full park in this beta, I think I'm just going to choose for a land area in this corner with a dual on this corner so we can have like an outside area for the Gario right over here. Uh, I'm just hoping that this will be enough water for the Gario because that will be <laughs> really nice if so. Um, so we have to test that and we're going to do that in just a bit. Did you see Rudy's latest build? Yes, and yeah, I did. I was in a voice call yesterday uh, evening with Rudy and uh, he was showing me what he was doing. He was putting down like the waterfalls and stuff. It's absolutely crazy. Everyone, you should definitely check out Rudy uh, Renkemo. Uh, maybe, uh, Jinatha, you can share a link of Rudy Renkemo. I also posted his link on my community wall. I, sh I also posted the video itself. He made the... I don't know what how you say it in English, the Ark from Noah? I think it's the Ark from Noah, but uh, he, he mentioned it in a different way, so I'm not sure <laughs> how you pronounce it, but hopefully you guys <laughs> understand what I mean. Rudy Renkamo is, is a great friend of mine, and um, he, he just makes the most crazy things ever. Like, seriously, he comes up with the most crazy ideas. Um, okay, let's have a look at the barriers to see where we are going to put it down or at least the glass it is can we have curved glass so we can have curved glass so i am thinking how long do we want it to be 
So we're gonna have a small one. This one we're going to replace. This is the temporary one because this is the one that we can't curve. Um, the first one is always straight, but you can delete it. So now 20 meters. Uh, only the bend is not really how I want it to be. Maybe we can have a few. So 20, let's have five and then like four different ones. Cause I think 20 meters is quite decent. Mm, I'm not happy with the curve it has right now. No. I have to do it like this because else I can't see the curve. <laughs> uh, how? Maybe like so, if we start here. Mm. Okay, we might want to go for a straight one after all then. If that's not going to work. Oh, thank you, Jinatha. Thank you so much for sharing that video, Rudy. Oh, wait, it's, uh, we need one meter more, I think. If my calculations are correct, we need one more meter. And then we can hopefully close it off nicely. It has to be perfect. <laughs> This is like the actual, I did do um, a hippo water gallery, uh, but just to test and that was like the most simplest, simple thing you've ever seen. Uh, but now we're going for like the real thing. Why can't I raise you? Oh, I have another, okay, edit barrier. Is the game worth it? Well, yeah, uh, if you ask me, 100% uh, yes. Like, 200% yes. I love the game. I am having so much fun. The animals are so beautiful. And for me, the game works super well. I have 3 million on my bank account. I have uh, 6,500 conservation points. Uh, and I am building everything I want to build. It's like... Oh, I just really love the game. I really love it. Is this the right height, guys? What do you think? Maybe six meters. Let's make it. Let's make it six. Okay, so I think this would be a nice start. And now we're going to use, I think, the concrete one again because I, I'm really a fan of the concrete one. I think it looks really nice. Uh, you're not the concrete one. You are the concrete one. Wait, there is a hole here. I want to delete. Like so. That is too steep. Uh, maybe straight. A bit longer. Okay, straight works. We're gonna re we're gonna change the height. No worries about that. We'll be fine. Uh, length. Ooh. Nice. 20 meters for one straight wall. Wait, no, we, we don't want a straight wall. We want it to... If it's 20 meters, then I'm going to use this. Because if we want to do some kind of uh, elevated area right over here we can have one more window maybe there like one one-sided glass uh oh my flip the lady you didn't tell us how pretty flowscape's loading screen is sorry joshua <laughs> it's good right it's really good i i really love the game it's absolutely good um, but yeah, obviously, uh, I prefer some more Planet Zoo right now, but we will definitely play a little bit more during, um, uh, during our wait. 
for Planet Zoo launch. I think it's just a really cute and fun game. Why? Um, okay, I wanna create... Shall we have a door here? I, I am curious if the Garyol would maybe need two... A door of like size two instead of... Okay, I'm going to use this by the way. So, just just quickie, just a quickie, because it's so good. It looks so good. I love this area. I love the outside area. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's really, I'm really happy with how it turned out. But I'm gonna use these doors. I like that. And we're gonna replace those and we're gonna probably make it a little bit bigger. Do you guys think we need a double door for the uh, Garyol or would one size fit? I am not completely sure about it. We might want to have two. Maybe a bit further away? What do you guys think? Tell me in the chat. Tell me in the chat. Two or one? I have not seen the Garyol yet in like the game itself so I'm really curious. Not nah, bro, one size. I think one is enough. Two, two. Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay. I think two. <laughs> Random question, but what is the music? That's Planet Zoo. Yes, it's uh, it's from the menus. Oh god, guys. One, one, two, two, one. I think more ones right now. Better save that star. Well, we can always extend it, right? Let's go for one. Um, and then if it's needed, then we can just extend it with another one. It's not like that big of a deal. It's it's not super hard to to just remove a piece. So I think we're going to be fine. Um, I miss an item, and I know that. Oh, right. There's a door frame and we need that door frame okay and we're gonna lower it down I'm not sure if he will fit here in here but I'm gonna wait and see guys Looking good, Tommy! How are you, lovely? <laughs> it's always so nice to see you, Tommy. Um, okay. I'm actually kind of getting a... Um, uh, getting way more of a, a building vibe of Planet Zoo compared to Planet Coaster. For the people that follow me from Planet Coaster, always when I live streams, I just ended up with like walking th to my uh, through my parks and stuff because I just, I don't know, I couldn't finish anything during streams. But streaming Planet Zoo is like so, I don't know, so much more inspiring of, or something. I don't know, it just really feels good. This is just not really aligning for me, but that could be because of the rotation of the uh, of the building. So it's a bit off compared to the other side, but we can work with that. So we're just going to uh, no 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 no. Oh, that's okay. That's no problem. We're gonna move you for a bit. No, we can't move you. We cannot move you. Because else we can't see where we want to align it to. Hello everyone, I got the same. May I ask what setting you got your game on? Because mine is very slow. I have it on high, I think. So when you start, at least for me, when I started the game, it was automatically on ultra. Uh, but you can uh, you can change the settings. I remember from Planet Coaster, it was also 
really really nice graphics for the medium settings i didn't change anything else so it's not that i uh yeah not that i did anything else i just changed it to high not the ultra one. Oh, i think it's on ultra again now i, d I don't think uh i changed it back Nice, that was pretty easy to just copy paste it here. Um, I do think... Um, no, it's, I think it's fine for, for now. Okay, so we have to give him a little bit of terrain right over here, right? Uh, lower it a little bit. Not that much, lady. Um, where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. Where are you from, Abel? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, that's that thing. Okay, we need, we have to add it that. Uh, we gotta make sure that it's on the floor, like on the ground, so there won't be an opening in a later stage. <laughs> But the music is so good, right? I did the first career mode. Will we get more? Yes, definitely. Definitely. We have, um, like this map. We have seen this map, the Indian subcontinent map. But then with like the high uh, sandstone structures and stuff. You remember that one? That's, uh, that's uh, scenario seven, I think. And the one you have right now, the career mode, is scenario one. So that is including the tutorial, of course. So there will be at least six in between them. That's at least my guess. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm guessing that if it makes more sense, the more you think of it, that the DLCs will be continent related or anything like that. And you will have different continent career modes every uh, new scenario or every new DLC. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, the Garial might not fit, but then we will just extend it. Um, okay. Uh, make it higher, lady. Okay, like that. Make it smaller. Ooh, that's a really small one. Gee. Okay, this is a good height, a nice height. Uh. We just only need an area for him to lay down or her or him and her <laughs> and, and he will be eating outside right over here and now we also need to test the water right we need to make sure that it's high enough high enough and I'm curious how high it will be we might want to have it mm, can't choose can't choose wait is that isn't the glass oh I replaced it oh no how can I get there okay edit barrier I replaced the glass lady how could you okay there we go glass is back guys is there any plans for a koali zoo who knows who knows you never know <laughs> that's your answer for today <laughs> i hope so let's let's say it that way i hope so i would really like that 
And who would like that to be in, in the chat right now? Who, who knows Kuali Beach? And who doesn't know Kuali Beach? <laughs> uh, wait, am I doing that right? No. Well, we can have a sharp angle here. That would not be a big deal. Um. Mm. Do we want it to go inside or just move over the terrain? Well, I think it's better to just cover the edge anyways. Should be just going straight to the back, I think. So that was five, if I remember correctly. Hello, Eric. Uh, have you ever been to Canada? No, I haven't, to be honest, Mel Melissa. Have you? Or you? You're probably from Canada. I wish I would ever uh, go to Canada, but there are a lot of places I really want to go. Like, obviously, I want to go to Florida. I want to visit the uh, Disney parks. And um, I really would love to go to Australia one day. That would be really amazing too. Uh, angle snap. Yeah, I think this is going right. A bit shorter. Make it fall. You know that the this this uh, concrete you can also recolor. By the way, I really like that. I really like that you can recolor it. We might want to have like a nice bend here. Um, let's play with that just a bit. So fifteen, and then no wait, why? Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like this and this will be have to be higher too the music is so good isn't it <laughs> This music is like so inspiring, so lovely. Ah, it's so lovely. You should go to Walt Disney Animal Kingdom. Yes, that's exactly where I really would love to go someday, Emma. Seriously, may I ask, do you like Disney movies and what is your favorite? Ooh, I love Disney movies, but what is my what is my favorite? Um, to be honest, um, I think that would be the little mermaid i think that is uh, one of my most favorite yeah I, I always wanted to be a mermaid but also cinderella is one of my favorites and also i don't know how you call that one in english dora Rocha. is that aurora or something i'm not sure if that's uh, uh but probably someone who is here and is dutch knows exactly what i mean and will be like oh yeah you mean this one <laughs> I don't know the English word for it. I watched most uh, Disney movies in English, uh, in Dutch, I mean. So yeah, the names are pretty different. Okay, this is just, uh, it's not really working yet. I never really played with this, just more like, oh, you can do this, but like to really create something out of it, it's harder than I thought it would be. But I like the fact you can. 
Uh, but it's not like super clear how it works. Uh, so minus 10 minus 30. And if we do the same here, minus 10 minus 30. That's funny. Minus 10. Now we have a wave. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's go and continue this. Um, so I want to have at least just always to be sure. I have the same thing on the other side. You might not have seen it in my YouTube video, but it is in my... Uh, I did it during the live stream. <laughs> I added like an extra glassy wall just to be sure but the monkeys are like the the mandrels are like the most scary thing like ooh, I don't know if they they can climb it we don't really have to worry for the Gario obviously but I'm just gonna do it anyways it's not like a big deal and I just have the feeling that we have some kind of extra protection in here you know what I mean <laughs> Um. You mean Sleeping Beauty? Oh, thank you, Emma. That's indeed Sleeping Beauty, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? But yeah, Disney movies. Uh, I love I love a lot of Disney movies. I have not seen the, the not many newer ones. Because uh, I don't know. It's just different than... The older versions, I guess, but they're not bad. They're definitely not bad. Which one did we see when we were uh, playing in Planet Coaster? I did see, um, was it Mona? I think it was. Um, we don't really have to extend it now. Well, let's do it anyways. We're busy with it anyways. Okay, and now we go to the outside. Just draw on the line and then we're gonna do some detailing. Um, so what protection does the Gariel need? Yeah, Mona, yeah. <laughs> I like that one. I love the beginning of that movie. But for some reason, at the end, it became a little bit boring or something. It couldn't really keep my attention for some reason. I don't know what that was. But the beginning was super cool with her being like super small and growing up and like underneath the water when you saw like, uh, I don't know, the sea was opening or something like that. If I remember correctly, it has been two years ago already, I think. Okay, it's uh, grade two. I'm not sure if that's correct, but okay. Um... Okay, so can we maybe make a lowered? No, no, let's not go for a lowered one. Let's go for, what kind of barrier shall we do? I'm gonna have a glassy barrier inside of here. Uh, or going, oh yeah, that's right, okay. Mm. It's maybe a little bit too much snapped, but I think we can work with this. It's all I feel like this is just really a lot of fun to just play around with the things get to know the pieces and Have fun and when we are really going to play the game like After launch we're gonna have a lot of fun like seriously a lot of fun That's going to be crazy shizzle <laughs> I went to Disneyland Paris for the Lion King yeah, I, uh, I feel bad, but I noticed that tagging really helps and Emma is really good in tagging. <laughs> because I'm building, so every time I look at the screen, I see the tags first and I'm reading the tags. So it's not like I don't want to read you guys, but it's just like the first thing I see. So don't really feel that bothered to tag me. Or the, the PayPal members, Nemo, how are you? <laughs> how is you? How are you doing? How are you recovering? Hope you're doing well. Hi, Mom. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mel Melissa. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh, you're amazing. Welcome, Faith and Member. <laughs> amazing. Love it. Thank you. 
<laughs> um, oh, Nemo, I'm so happy to see you again. It's always nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. And as I said, you're recovering well. Um, you're amazing, Mel 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 Melissa. <laughs> if you uh, get into, uh, I don't know if you're already in my Discord server, but if you uh, if you are, then you will also get a role if you attach your YouTube um, your YouTube channel on your Discord server or on your Discord profile. It will automatically see that. So that will just synchronize every now and then. So it happens automatically if you at least have your YouTube to your profile. But thank you so much. Really, really helps me out. Thank you so much. Ah, it's not, not good. So I'm gonna do, um, I wanna do a lot of early access videos, but since the streaming on Twitch and uh, now on YouTube, of course, and the videos are doing so well, I really feel I uh, just want to have like, uh, how you say that, like maximum, g getting the maximum out of the two weeks of beta. So I think the early access videos will really start after launch. But I know that a lot of the Fae Fan members are like, oh, I don't really care about the early access. I just want to help you. I just want to support you. So thank you guys anyways. <laughs> uh, place a big savannah tree in the middle. No, no, no. We're going to have a staff uh, area in the middle. I like the idea, definitely, but I, I'm really uh, going to going for it. Why? This is way too big, by the way, what I'm building. Uh, we don't, really don't have it. What? I like it to be aligned. <laughs> That's my issue. Also, a lot of people standing here and standing here is going to be like really messed up for this pathway. So you should not do it when, when building a complete park. Why is that rock there annoyingly? Like, jeez. Did I do that? How could I do that? Lower it down. There you go. Love your builds, especially the mandrel. Thank you so much, Jaguar. I, I actually love it too, <laughs> a lot. I really, I'm really happy how it turned out. Like it's really unexpectedly good. And that's also because the game is just beautifully good. Um, we're gonna just make a small area. It doesn't need a long area anyway, so Don't make it bigger if, if you don't have to, right? Angle snap off uh, Make it four four four. Yeah, thank you um, Just going straight here but um yeah <laughs> so what is your favorite animal so far you've seen in the planet to beta guys so not the animals that are not in the beta right now but what is like your most favorite animal right now that you have seen in the game that you're like oh my god it's so good um uh, I have an idea. This is going to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to move this. Do they have otters? There are no otters yet confirmed. So I hope. I honestly hope we will get otters, but there are a lot of animals I really hope to see. Um, so yeah, I actually don't know. We have to wait and see, but uh, otters are definitely high on my wishing list to see in the game. Uh, seriously, high on my wishing list. Um, okay, I'm going to move this to here. If it works. Uh, does seem to work so far. And then... We're going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm not really a fan of the curve that is appearing here, but let's see what we can do with that. Uh, oh, 
I maybe can have this interesting shape in here. Yeah, that could work. Okay, it's probably way too big, but it doesn't really matter. I think bigger is better than a smaller. Uh, so yeah. Let's see, we're gonna... Make it a little bit less big. Something like that. And then we're going to have one-sided glass. So that will be one-way glass. So now the Gario can't see the people, but the people can see Gario. Okay, cool. So, ooh, it's now connected, isn't it? I didn't think of where we're gonna put the staff room, by the way. Shoo, shoo, no. <laughs> if I can ask, what would you recommend as a start animal? If you, depends what you wanna do. If you wanna, uh, what I did, let me just, we, we can we can talk real quick. Let me just talk with you guys. Oh, my, my, my recording stopped. Shoo, that's a pity. Let me fix that. Mm -hmm. Why did you stop recording? I, I probably... Oh, it's still there. It's still recording. Okay, perfect. Um, love your buildings uh, of the habitat so far. Thank you. So, depends what you want to do. If you want to have just... Uh, you, you're you just going to build a zoo in franchise mode and you start with 40k dollars and you're like, yeah, I just want to play and have fun and I want to earn some money and I just want to expand my zoo with more Af animals. Then I would definitely just suggest to just go to your zoo tab, uh, training tab, and then... Uh, look for an animal you probably don't really have that many conservation points so just select it here show cash only uh, that's not that many many animals but you if you have a longer list of animals and maybe you do have conservation points that could be then select it on appeal and and try to find the highest appealing animal for me that was the hippo the grizzly and the grizzly bear they were like affordable and with a very high appeal so i started with those two and then money just came in floating in uh so the higher the appeal is of the animals the more people you attract to your park the more people uh the more they spend the more they donate etc so that is something you really can do to get yourself going uh if you want to earn what you can do if you have like a a pretty good running zoo but you don't really have the conservation points and you really want to focus on conservation points only you can just open a, f a different a second franchise and you can just say like okay I'm gonna build a quick habitat there and I'm gonna add some wild dogs or you just just anything that breeds a lot <laughs> that likes to breed when being in a zoo and that animal is not going to be um, it's, it doesn't take long for that animal to become an adult. Those two things are very useful if you want to go for um, conservation points only. Because the thing is, if you have a franchise, you can't bring money with you. But you, your conservation points are like globally for your whole franchise. So all the zoos inside of your franchise. So if you start a second franchise, you can easily just farm the conservation points and then uh, use them in your other zoo where you're playing in. Uh, what animal do you own as a pet? Oh my God, Nemo, how can you ask me that? I lost my last cat last year. Don't you remember? <laughs> it was the hardest year of my life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you probably forgot, it's okay. So no, I don't have any animals anymore. Uh, so if you want to search for like an animal that breeds a lot and is becoming an adult really quick you just go to your zoopedia and you check the species data tab and then you go check to like what is the age of the maturity so in this case the ostrich for example is three years is not super long so that would be doable and they get like an offspring of maybe uh, one to three babies per time. That's not that many. Uh, reproduction in captivity is very easy. That is also something pretty important. But I do have to say like every animal so far has been very easy for me. So hopefully they will change that to make it a little bit harder. 
For example, never go for a tortoise uh, to earn conservation points. Why not? Because it takes 22 years before you can put them in the trading center, which is like really frustrating if you want to go to farm some conservation points. So definitely don't go for a tortoise. Um, or what you can do, for example, is the um, African wild dog. African wild dog is like the most easiest thing. It takes them only one year to um, become a germ and the number of offspring per mating is one to three babies. But to be fair, um, I mostly have like five babies or six babies. So I have the feeling they changed this. And the same is for the tortoise because I had like 11 babies or something like that. And it says only one to two here. So <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but definitely check out like, okay, the warthog is very easy, two years only, has an offspring of one, two, three. So those kind of animals you can definitely use um, for your, uh, to farm some conservation points. Uh, and also, no, you can't, with the terrarium animals, you can't really farm conservation points, by the way. Um, what was your pet's name? I had four ta cats in total. For like my own cats, I had four. I had cats with my mom too, but those I don't count them with me. <laughs> I don't count them too. Um, I had four cats. The first two were called Luna and Charming, like Prince Charming from Shrek. And I had um, Mumble from Happy Feet. And uh, Felina, which was actually the girlfriend of Bambi. And later on, I know I heard that feline is also just the name for like calling a female cat. <laughs> I had no idea. I just thought, oh, that's such a cute name, feline. Let's call her Felina. <laughs> so yeah, that was really funny. Uh, but yeah, they all uh, unfortunately passed away because of kidney failure. All four of them. Yes, I was very unlucky. So now I was so sad and it was so hard to lose them all and i lost like the first one luna i lost when she was like two and a half years and that was like 10 years ago but her brother was like uh so with me he turned eight uh but the other three died in like three years after right after each other so that was really really frustrating um Okay, we're gonna have to, we, we need to put some water in here, guys, because we're not making progress. You see, if I start talking, I just <laughs> don't stop talking. That's my issue here. <laughs> uh, if you add hyenas, you need 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 to make three Benzai Ed and Shenji. Oh yes, that would be so good. But but I'm gonna add. I don't think I'm going to add hyenas unless we are like really quick. But I don't think we will. Uh, I think we will only be able to finish this before the beta will launch and as i said when uh the game will launch the, the beta will end and when the game will launch all the parks and everything will be lost so it's this this is all testing and uh afterwards we just start a new franchise probably in a new biome just to have uh a look at those biomes and to see how those work and uh, then we're just gonna do something similar and then we had a, like a really good practice and then we're gonna see like oh yeah we should do that different or we should do that different I think that's definitely something we would want to go for okay how high would water be that's actually not really high enough is it I'm not happy with this mm, not at all can we have it higher oh we can now that's a pretty decent height now isn't it I think this could work we don't have a water pump here oh but shoo oh no it's fine this could work guys this could definitely work so the only thing we want to do is lower this for a bit and make like uh, more of an island right over here. Um, can you make mixed habitats like in real life zoos? So have giraffes, zebras and elephants. Yes, you can definitely. You can see in the, um, you can see in the Zoopedia right over here. 
you can see at interspecies enrichment what kind of other animals per animal you can add in that habitat so yeah there are a lot of animals you can uh, have with different animals in the same habitat but there are also animals you can't so you just have to check the zoopedia and then you can see what animals you combine them with um i'm french and you i am i am dutch ellen welcome to the stream <laughs> what game is this this is planet zoo okay we need to delete the water but i'm quite happy with that height i think that's gonna be good so just a small area actually just where he um should go on like oh we didn't check how much water it is if it's enough So we should check that. Yeah, I like the height. I'm gonna change the lighting just a bit, if we can. Um. I think something like this. Okay. Um, delete. And uh, we're going to. I want to lower. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't check. I didn't check, guys. Oh no. Okay, one more time. No. I want to. Oh, we don't have the habitat yet. Of course, we don't have the door yet, so we can't calculate. Uh, but where are we gonna build a door? Well, probably on this side then, but will the zookeeper... No, I'm going to make it there. Then that is just the best way to go for, I think. I'm just in this corner, maybe? And then we hide it away just a little bit. So now we should be able to check. Terrain 1260? That's really a lot. Water area zero. Okay, wait, we maybe need to depost the game. Okay. 712 land and 620 that's perfectly fine awesome okay so we did that grade um we're going to lower the terrain as i said oh we can have some more water on this side do we want that no we can make an, um people won't see it from that side if they stand here uh, we might just want to raise that just a bit. I'll say it will be like really big and we can we can fill it up with some plants and stuff maybe. Uh, my dad spoke Dutch on his mission. What kind of mission? Was he like in the army or? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm lowering. <laughs> Have a good night, dear everyone else. We'll go to bed. Sleep well, Emma. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate that. Uh, okay, raise it a little bit here. Yes, there's classical music, guys. That's not... We're not joking. This is in Planet Zoo. How you like that? Classical music. Um, every time I hear this music, I'm like... We have classical music in Planet Zoo. It's so crazy. I like it. Do you understand Dutch? I speak Dutch. <laughs> I subscribe. Thank you so much, Wayne. Really appreciate that. I do. I do understand Dutch. I do speak Dutch. I'm born Dutch. Uh, English. I just learned on school. Nothing special. Nothing like I had like two language uh, parents or whatever. Nothing. Nothing weird. I'm just Dutch, and I speak English in my uh, on my YouTube channel. And I also have a Dutch channel, uh, but <laughs> I am too hyped, and it's all going so well for the lady designer right now. So I probably not going to upload too much at this beta stage but we are never too late to upload it later on i feel it's gonna be fine most important thing is for me that i have fun and i'm having a lot of fun doing it like right now how we're doing it so yeah hopefully you guys will understand that or also follow me following me there 
Uh, is this still the right height? Yes, it is. Okay, we have a small area over here. I do want to have it a little bit more easy for the Gariel to get out of here. There's just no sunlight. It's all in the dark. It's all in the dark, guys. Okay. Um, do we have a shape that is like angled? I don't think so, but just... Oh, don't forget to save. <laughs> um, what is Netherlands? <laughs> what is Netherlands? Um... The Netherlands is a European nation. Oh, he's Dutch. He's just joking with you. <laughs> we tried to recreate this in the full release. I think we're going to do it even better when the game will be released. Will be released because this is like a lot of practicing, which I really love. I really enjoy doing this. Um. So yeah, we're just gonna use this because these are all things that this is the first time we're using it, right? Um, so of course we just gonna bring all these ideas with us for our whole franchise we're going to open during the, uh, well, when the game will launch. I'm, I'm so much looking forward to it, guys. Who's with me? Who's with me? I'm like, oh, this game has been freaking me out the whole week. <laughs> I was I lost a day I honestly lost a day like as in I thought it was Wednesday and it was actually Thursday I honestly told it in my stream like yeah it's Wednesday right and it wasn't I I was so confused all this hype uh it really caught me it really caught me I really love this game <laughs> so much so I'm just really curious who is with me I'm so excited to see, uh, to see the full release of the game. Even more excited for this habitat to finish. Yes, yeah, same. Same. <laughs> I'm really excited how it's going to look. We're going to have so many nice plants and stuff. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, what we're going to do... Um, I'm going to fill it now with water, I think. Let me check if we can. Um, fill it like so. Um, it's a pity we can't do the terrain to when there's water in, but that's because the water is calculated, so it can't be changed. I hope they will change that in the future because it's so much easier to to edit it. Obviously, I'm gonna have it a little bit different. It's like too straight now. Something like this maybe? Oh, you still can't tell. Okay, we're gonna have rocks there. We can, we can just hide it with rocks to make it a different shape. We don't have to do that perfectly. Okay, that wasn't good. Okay, we're gonna do it like so. And now what we're going to do, of course we're going to add in the Garial. We can't have a live stream without a Garial. So ugh, I'm really hoping now that we can get a Garial. Else I would go crazy. I didn't even check. I heard a lot of people having issues. Oh, perfect. 14 years old. How old are they? They are all 14 years old. Okay, no, oh, we want that one. We want the golden one. Yeah. Zooplankton, thank you very much. Move. Oh shoot, we don't have the path. We should. We need a path. Pause the game. We need to. We need to figure out how we're going to hide. Obstructed by what? There's nothing here. Uh, do I have any? Ah, there you go. I had 
flattened terrain on. I'm just gonna connect it like so for now. Um, we're going to add this to our roster. There you go. So now all the keepers and stuff can get there. Do we have a water pump here? I don't think we do. It's now fresh, but there's a water pump. Ooh, this water, this also needs a water pump. Okay, let's have a look. I'm not gonna pay too much attention to hide it away. I feel like it's a waste of my time because this park will be gone uh, in two weeks. So that's why I'm like, this is temporary and this is the beautiful habitat. This is how we're going to do it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, obviously with the launch, we're gonna do it all even more perfect and we're gonna hide everything away and I, I, I do think you guys all understand why. We just don't have that much time and we can't continue this park after the game will launch. So we just have to start all over again anyways. Um, okay, so we have a water filter. We have water here. I do feel I want to change this barrier to a straight one. I don't like the curved barrier that much over here. Um, okay, Gariel is incoming. I've never seen the Gariel myself in the game, which is really exciting. I'm really looking forward to see the Gariel. So we're just gonna wait for it. Oh. Hey, the ladies, I know why did you restart the original zoo? It didn't look that bad to me. Well, that was just to, to try and test it and like getting some money because that was like the issue i really wanted to just to earn money and then start uh start doing a really creative zoo so like in the end we're going to have the lions being moved i'm not sure what we're gonna do with these elephants by the way they're pretty adorable but it's just too big to do a whole habitat for with all the plans i have and they need a very big gate which doesn't fit my dome and we need a poo, we have here, we need a poo. They're so adorable. <gasps> it's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, but yeah, okay, do we have a Gary already? <gasps> right on time. Is it going to fit? It's going to fit, easy. I'm pretty sure it will. <gasps> Nice. Okay, we do have to make sure... Pause the game. Uh, we have to make sure that everything is perfect. So, why are you telling me your water isn't perfect? I had that with a different animal too. Is it only counting this area now? That doesn't feel right. Did anyone already play around with it? That maybe there is some kind of bug or anything? It should be able... Oh, well, never mind. I'm gonna just try and do the grass and stuff. The coloring and see maybe it will change later. Uh, so, more short grass. No less sh short grass, lady. Jeez. Uh, more rock, more soil. And rock. It better, uh, better goes in the, in the water, guys. I'm deadly serious. And sand. Nice. Oh, I think we're gonna use a lot of sand. Um. Oh, might be too steep. Good point, Cassie. Very good point. Let's check. I don't think so. Uh, the map lady. What are you doing? Um, I'm confused. Is this now not working? Traversable animal. Select an. Oh yeah, select an animal. Of course, yeah. This yesterday was the first time I tried this. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, we can select it maybe and edit it. Will it calculate them? 
hope so. Um, why are you not able to even go here? Um, there's glass here, right? There should be glass. Uh, exit. Okay, there you are. Maybe you are the issue. Uh, we're gonna lower you down. We don't really need you anyways. It's it's a, it's a Gariel. Can we delete you? I don't see me being able to delete it. Go out of it. Delete. Okay. And then I'm gonna open the gates more because hey, we can open the gates, right? Um. Maybe it's just, it's just actually too small. That could be. And we can fix that. I think this is also something he just really doesn't like. So we're gonna open it and see if anything changes. I'm gonna, gonna purify this later on, so don't worry about that. Um, okay. Let's see if he can go through this, or maybe we just have to open it further. Um, so, map. Close this. Okay, it's still not working. Exit. Why would that be? Would that be because of this thing? That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, let me just delete these. And maybe also these. I just want to see if this is like the issue. <gasps> it is. It actually is. Okay, can you now, if I remove that? Okay, there's a very small walkable area for him. And if I just do this, would that change anything? It's funny though, because I really thought he would be able to just crawl over these little edges right over here. And let's try and flatten the terrain. Wait, I can't. Is it calculating again? Okay. Would he not be able... Is it calculating? Oh, perfect. Okay, that is working. He's not going into the water. I wonder if this is too small. There's only one way to find out, right? Music sounds like it's from Africa. What? What are you saying? That's a weird thing. Why would you not like Africans? That's really weird. Um, why would this be so small? I really wonder. Um, I really want to know. Because it's definitely not, like, super terraformed or anything. Okay, click it again. Okay, now it got wider. So it does... Okay, it just calculates what kind of... Probably the tail or anything like that. So we have to make it bigger, guys. We have to make it bigger like, like this. This would be the perfect size. Just going to... Uh, no, save the game. Save you. Okay, we're going to enjoy the Gario for just a second because we don't have any food or whatsoever. He's also not really happy with his habitat. <laughs> Poor thing. Can you go in the water for me real quick? Gario, mister. Um, give him some food and stuff. Uh, species, Gario. Okay. You like a robbing plate, don't you? And a feeding tray. So that people can see it. It's all temporary. Uh, sprinkler. 
Who is injured? Oh, not the bears. The bears are annoying me the last couple of hours. I don't know why that is. They, they keep getting injured for no reason at all. I just don't know why. But that's probably just a bug or anything. And there's already a vet, so it's not really uh, a big deal. The mandrills are in lockdown. So we're gonna get them out. Um, okay, Gariel needs food, needs water. A mud bed, you like a mud bed. Okay. I don't think that's going to fit right now. But we make it fit. We need, we need to make sure he has all the things, guys, because Elsie will not survive. But I just really want to see him swim. And then we're going to end the stream and we're going to continue on that other platform thingy. Um, and I will upload the speed build up, of course, later to YouTube. Um, so feel free to join me there, of course. Um, let's purify this and hopefully he will go to the water while we are working on this area we need to make this look nice still uh, maybe a little bit further away no we can't Okay, uh, we deleted one of these, but that's okay. We're gonna make it nice. When I have the game, is it okay? Of course, but I honestly do think we will get these kind of pieces. I know for a fact that I've seen something like that and I was like, oh, that can be like a, a gay for, for an animal. And I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it anymore during my stream. Same goes for ropes. I was so sure because I was looking for ropes. I couldn't find them anywhere. And then I uploaded my video today. And someone, uh, Bram, he said, uh, but there are ropes in the game. And I was like, what? I just really couldn't find it. And they're not uh, in, a, in the mandrel segment or like in the continent. So I just I honestly couldn't find them. Uh, I'm gonna do this uh, on the other stream. Um, oh no, I don't have to copy you. Why is the Gariel not going into the water? Oh wait, he's going to the water, guys. Awesome. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited to see that. No, he's not. Are you serious? You want water. I know you want it. I know you want it. Again, injured. We're just gonna not pay attention to it. <laughs> um. I think the ropes are in construction. Yeah, I think we're in a retreat. We're going uh, going to added some more ropes in here why is he not going into the water uh, some rocks let's add some rocks I do want to add some more sand we're gonna add lots of rocks and trees and make it nice and pretty okay I want to have some more sand here And then what, some long grass on the edges. Is he now going to the water? Oh, I think he, oh. <laughs> oh, I like that. This is going to be a great end. We want to see that Gary all. Do, will you put rocks and plants into the water? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to have it really beautiful. We're going to make it really beautiful, Mr. Toast. Don't worry. This is like the basic of our habitat. This is not even the the no we're 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 not even halfly finished there's a lot of stuff to do and we're gonna have a lot of fun with that oh look at that animal it's so good isn't it 
I just love how this looks. I think they even added like the the um, the color of the water a bit. I like this. I like this. But the darker, if it's dirty, it's even more beautiful. Uh, look at the big grumpy Gary grin. Yeah. Rawr. So people are, oh, look, 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 the people are here, standing here. It's working perfect. It's working perfect on the right height. It's actually perfect. And the people can stand on top of that. And, and they are already. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It works. So the only thing we have to do is make everything look pretty. So the people are standing here to look at it swimming here. The people are standing here to see it swim underneath the water. And the people will well look here but they don't see anything because he's outside oh my god fish wow that's cool i haven't seen that one before so i am really happy this is our base guys and if you want to see how this is going to turn out please do give me a follow on Twitch and uh, this will also of course being uploaded as a speed build video tomorrow and the YouTube channel so don't worry if you can't make it so I really want to thank you guys so much for being here don't forget to subscribe of course if you already haven't but probably most of you already have who are here don't forget to leave a like at the stream guys because also lights on streams really helped me out so thank you guys so much thank you so much for my new member you're amazing thank Thank you to all my other FayFam members. You guys are also really incredibly amazing. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm going to take my time this week to read all your amazing comments. I love to read them. I love to reply to them. That's really something I always did and always will keep doing as long as I can. Um, guys, I really want to thank you guys. Hopefully to see you guys in the other stream thingy. And uh, thank you guys for being here. And uh, we're going to have fun. So... Have a great evening if I don't see you in a minute and I'll I'll see you guys in a l later video. Bye guys. Love you. <laughs>